There is a cognitive dissonance to opposing ideas in the mind that I want to talk about in the world of Scientology, Inc. And that is the whole principle of Scientology therapy is to talk. Relieve yourself of your innermost thoughts. Communicate. All of counseling, which is called auditing in the church, is based on the fact that if you speak, if you look in the mind and talk, you'll feel better and you'll get rid of aberrations, compulsions, fears, all your baggage. Just talk about it, look at it, examine it, and talk about it. So the church does promote talking. But the dichotomy is everything in the church is shut up, calm it down, be secretive, don't talk about it, don't talk about it. Right now in the C organization, as you enter any building for the first time, a new building, you sign that you will never, ever, ever say anything that you know that happened in that building. The recent non-disparagement issues were to force every staff member to keep it secret. Don't talk about it. So here's the schizophrenic dichotomy of Scientology, which is pay us and talk about it. But in actuality, whether you're public, staff, or anyone, never, 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 don't talk to the media, don't talk, don't write a book, don't ever talk, don't ever talk, don't, 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 keep it, keep it muzzled and gagged. Scientologists say they are just like any other religion. I have absolutely nothing to hide whatsoever. Zero. Really? Dig okay. and dig and dig. Okay, we'll give us some access. So how come you can't investigate Scientology without Scientology investigating you? Are you from the Church of Scientology? The man I'm waiting for will provide some answers about the Church of Scientology. But it's not going to be easy. Because, if you investigate them, they will come for you. I know, because I've done it before. Are you listening no. to me for a second? No, 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 no stop that, to... Tommy! No, 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 no. I don't understand the nature of you. In 2007, I investigated Scientology. They sent their top handlers to try and stop me. I think what's very telling these days that you could, want you to comment on the Church of Scientology in 2014 does not have a spokesman. Mm. Think of an international church mm. that does not have a spokesman. What does that tell you? Well, really, the spokesman always ends up being Mike Rinder or Tony Ortega. <laughs> They'll speak. The media want to comment? Go to Mike Rinder or Tony. But what does it tell you? It tells you that uh, they, they can't have a spokesman. They can't answer hard questions. They send out this gibberish, these prefabricated sense. Oh, the apostates are making blah, 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 blah. It's just, so they just cannot even answer questions. I remember when we were crossing the Atlantic Ocean, we, we were kicked out of every port in the, when I was on the Apollo. Port after port didn't want us back. And then after the Apollo was stoned in Madeira, the big stoning occurred, it was decided that the Mediterranean was too unsafe. Let's cross the Atlantic. And so everyone on the ship was briefed. We're going to America. We're going to dock a chart. Everyone was briefed. And everyone was told, clamp it down. Not like high ethics if you ever talk about it. Although the whole ship knew about it. And by accident, I mentioned something to do with landing or something. I was hauled into ethics to do 
treason for communicating I mentioned something that the whole ship knew about and I had to sit there, sit there and write why I was treasonous because I talked about landing which everybody knew about. The paranoia within is something to behold because the whole of the church is in lockdown secret. Doesn't matter what's, what you know. You can't talk about it. You can't even talk about it to a fellow staff member. There's always, uh, it's not just a matter of talking outside the church. Very often, if you say the wrong thing to a fellow staff member, you breached their paranoia on secrecy. For more than a year, I slept on the fucking floor and I was fed slop and I was in a building that had bars on the doors and windows. I wasn't allowed out and I was supposed to sit around in there and circle jerk myself into fucking uh, a new state of existence where now I'm suddenly acceptable to Miscavige. Because of Debbie Cook saying she would have signed anything just to get out of there, they are now making people sign all these contracts on entry, not when they're dying to leave, because then they can say, I was forced to sign this. In this videotape released by the church, Cook and her husband Wayne are seen signing contracts, agreeing to never publicly disparage the church or its leadership, and accepting checks for $50,000 apiece. And you have high regards for the staff that you work with. Very. And how about the boss? Yes. Talking about David, David Miscavige. Cook's lawyers argue that the contract is unenforceable because despite what Cook says on this videotape. And you're doing this voluntarily. Yes. No one has made any threats or, or, or forced you to do anything. Not at all whatsoever. She now argues she only signed under duress, something the church denies. You know, I would have signed that, you know, I stabbed babies over and over again and loved it. I would have done anything, basically, at that point. They're now making people sign pages of releases and how to keep everything secret and how they promise never to tell, never to Why? Why? Only when you've got secrets do you want such clampdown of information. Here's some uh, information on non-disclosure agreements. First of all, non-disclosure agreements are enforceable. They're legal contracts. They are? Yes. However, let's be clear about a couple things. In the United States and Europe, you cannot sign away or be forced to sign away your right to speak about anything that's criminal mm. or dangerous. If you're a member of the Church of Scientology, at any level, RTC, CST, doesn't matter where. If you have knowledge of things like credit card fraud, assault and battery, you know, unauthorized use of funds, for example, embezzlement, theft, anything that's illegal is not subject to an, uh, a non-disclosure mm, agreement. Mm, there was massive billing of credit cards without permission. Not just in Nakanon, but at the basics. Yes, and this is That's why criminal activity on credit you, cards. You could report that to the authorities. Mm -hmm. You cannot be made to sign away uh, your right to speak about things that are illegal. Mm -hmm. Or, for example, if there are unsafe living conditions. Mm -hmm. Can you disclose secret corporate information? No, and you shouldn't. Mm -hmm. Should you reveal knowledge of a crime? Yes, you can be protected as a whistleblower. You know how I beat the drum on abuse. Many people have things on the money extortion and the, the fraud and the this and the that. I, I, I beat the drum on the abuse. But the reason that it's so secretive and the reason they have to promise never to tell is because what goes on inside is dirty, is criminal, is despicable.
and is embarrassing.